Mandatory minicamp came and went, but not before providing us with a few things to keep a close eye on. Based on what we've seen so far, as in no pads, Josh Myers looks and acts the part of a starting center. If he can take the job and run with it long term, it solidifies the entire offensive line. While we're in the neighborhood, Ben Braden's stock is rising. The former practice squatter is 6'6", a solid 329, and he's been playing all over, including stints with the starters at left tackle. I'm actually really excited about Ben to see what's going to happen with him because I think, you know, he gets a whole offseason under his belt. Um, a couple preseason games, I think he's going to really compete for a starting job at a guard or tackle. To the D-line, where nose tackle Kenny Clark is spending less and less time on the nose. Getting a playmaker like Clark away from the constant center guard double teams should allow him to make even more plays. For him to do what he needs to do to take that next step is to keep doing what he's been doing um, because he's played at a high level. He's productive. Um, he affects the quarterback. And uh, like I said in the run game, I mean, he, he's, if anything's around him, he's usually on it. In the back end, first rounder Eric Stokes, he of six foot length and 4'2 speed, has been lining up strictly outside, while fifth rounder Shamar John Charles has been playing mostly in the slot. The pair could bolster an already talented secondary that was just ranked sixth best in the NFL by Pro Football Focus. You know, we're really close. We go out to eat. We talk about life. We don't, it's not just always football, you know what I'm saying? I think when you have that kind of relationship with the guys that you work with, it makes it a lot easier when you're on the field because the communication is just so much clearer. 